A KCK police announced a new crime initiative today aimed at decreasing crimes the chief says are skyrocketing. KCTV5's Joe Chiotto has more on how choosing not to chase the criminals could have led to the problem and why the chief says it's time for a fix. In 2014, two innocent people were killed in two separate crashes in the span of two months. 62-year-old Garcila Olivas and 8-year-old Jasmine Rodriguez. Since then, KCK police chose not to get involved in police chases unless the suspects had already committed a serious felony. Three years later, crime rate incidents are up drastically, and the chief hopes a new plan launching in June will help. We're going in the wrong direction, and, and it's time for us to change that. KCK Police Chief Terry Ziegler says the numbers prove it. What's well, been on a skyrocket trajectory since 2012. In 2012, there were 22 homicides in KCK, 144 drive-by shootings. In 2016, homicides have more than doubled to 47. Drive-bys have increased to 286. In that time, police started letting people flee. It's not just a slight increase. I mean, it's like steady climb. That means if someone got pulled over for a traffic stop, well, you just take off because we're not going to chase you. And criminals caught on. But years later, he says it's proof. Traffic stops are how crimes are prevented. So now he says they will chase everybody who flees as long as they have probable cause. While he says his thoughts and prayers are with the families of innocent people killed in such chases, he says the criminals who fled are to blame. Ziegler tells me it will specifically help a historically crime-ridden area of KCK through a new crime initiative called Project Act, addressing crime together. Ziegler looked at years of data to find the most homicides and drive-bys occurred here in KCK, 7th Street to 18th Street and Grandview to North Pacific. He surveyed and questioned 600 people in that area and found neighbors' concerns are drugs, drive-bys, burglaries and traffic issues. Now, they won't just be chasing, but also stepping up patrols and working with community leaders. My message to him is this, is that, um, you know, KCKPG is going to be out there, probably going to be some people going to jail, some bad guys are going to be going to jail. That new crime initiative begins June 1st. Joe Chiotto, KCTV5 News.